Thor Fehammer versus Varl the Destroyer. For a while, a lot of people have known that Varl was really good for Hydra. And I asked you guys in a community post who you would like to see next in my current series, Thor Versus, where I take Thor and I pin him up against other nukers to see how he stacks against some of the other traditional or, or well-known nukers for Hydra. So Varl on his A1 has the ability to heal by 30% of the damage inflicted. He's got an AOE that places weaken and decrease attack. His A3 attacks one enemy, ignores 30% of the target's defense, then destroys target's max HP by 50% of the damage, then places block damage on this champion if it kills an enemy. I don't know if this really works with Hydra. To be honest, I don't really use Varl. I've only heard good things about him. And then he increases his own attack by 10% every time they use an active skill up to 100% and it doesn't reset for Hydra. Now, I do have a more in-depth guide into Thor Fehammer, but just so you guys can kind of see, I will show you the total stats that he has. 233 speed, 320 crit damage, almost 6k attack, 55,000 HP, 3400 defense. He is going to be quite strong. I'll be honest with you, he's got a 5-star blessing. He's already, at least on paper, looking stronger than Varl. And he's rocking the nine piece Slayer. I'm gonna try him out in Merciless later, but I figured for now we're just gonna leave it because I'm not ready to change him out yet. But these are the masteries on him. He's taking Helm Smasher, Counter Attack Masteries. For his five star blessing, Thor has Nature's Wrath to give him more damage per debuff placed by him. And for Varl, he only has a one star blessing. When you have a one to four star blessing on a nuker, generally speaking, you want to go Phantom Touch. Higher levels of blessings probably take something like Crushing Rend. I'm thinking like six six stars, you're going to want to take Crushing Rend. Other than that, probably Soul Reap. But for now, Phantom Touch is going to be doing well, giving a 15% chance to inflict bonus damage based on Varl's attack. Now, Varl is rocking a six piece Merciless set, giving him the plus 35% ignore enemy defense, as well as a cruel set, 5% ignore enemy defense. These are the specific pieces of gear. I've done the best with what I currently have. And unfortunately, without breaking some of my other champions, and I already broke quite a few champions, uh, this is the best I could do. I don't really have good merciless gear, especially when it comes to the accessories. This is the best I can do. These are the only two accessory pieces that I have and uh, as you can see it's hp we have the crit damage here and i'm waiting for phantom Sh or i'm waiting for cvc to start so i can farm phantom shogun i really wish that polarium would do a phantom shogun tournament like they do for sand devil i don't know why they don't do that as you can see speed on the boots with attack uh, speed on speed would be nice too attack percent accuracy is okay he does place debuffs that decrease attack and the weaken i think maybe you might want to consider just going attack on attack no titan and then he's got HP. Uh, ideally, you would take crit damage on top of that, but it's okay. Right now, he's a little low on his survivability stats. 27, almost 2,800 for defense is not ideal. At least for me, I like a minimum of 3,000 for my nukers going into Hydra. But we're going to change things up a bit. Looking at Varl's stats, you can already tell he's not doing nearly as well as Thor. There's obviously a plethora of reasons as to why. He's got less crit damage, significantly less crit damage, a little less speed, less defense, and the attack is also on the lower end as well. I tried to make up for that by giving him a 40% um, ignore enemy defense. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take off three pieces here. So Thor is going to lose crit damage, speed, and he's also going to lose this chance to deal additional AOE damage just to I feel like that would make it a little fair just because Thor has a lot more stats but let's see if I you know what, what it's going to look like when I take these off here uh, so right now I just took off the ring and the amulet less defense less HP less attack in fact let's see Varl was where with his attack Varl was okay so they're about the same attack he still has a little bit more defense but Varl has more HP 220 speed and let me see here thor and he still has more crit damage 
and he's got a tad bit more defense as well take off this all right so now now we're looking a little bit more even less attack less hp less defense less speed still has more crit damage but i think we're in the clear i think we'll do well enough you know thor already is doing a little bit better here are the masteries on thor and in case because i can't remember i've got the memory of goldfish here are the masteries for varl taking helm smasher just basically the same now this is the team here we have survivability we got some heals we have decreased defense and weaken but um uh, venus is mainly here for placing the hex and then we have our two damage dealers so this is going to be on hard and we're just going to see who does more damage in this Thor versus Varl. We're going to take a little bit of time looking at their damage output right now. And then we'll go ahead and skip to the end here to see what the total damage output was. So, doing the ally attack right now. What's Thor doing? He's doing, okay, 85. I saw that one time. Or was that Varl? All these numbers popping up. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, that did uh, 63. I saw 63 on that move. That looks like uh, that looked like Varl's A2. Let me slow it down here so I can see better. All right, they're doing ally attack, and Thor's gonna go in first. 46, 114. I think that was Varl. Hold on, let me let me let's do this first real quick. Let me let me let me click this. 164 230 out of varl okay that was on varl's a3 which already ignores some uh defense there uh oh i say uh oh because that that reflect damage isn't a good sign okay three mil a minute in that's not impressive to me. So it looks like Thor is doing 40 something, 59 there, 96 there, and he's dead. Luckily we have Duchess in, so we'll be getting a revise back 90. And that's with the ally protect. Okay, here we go, another one. And Sori popped off 254 from Varl that time. Okay, let me just see on this decapitated head here. Um, let's go, let's do this. Okay, 284. And let's see, Varl's damage, 655 there on his A3. Of course, the moves are different. And you can't really control Thor's A2. Like, you can't choose where to, to place it. So, that's another factor. 150, 195. Saw the Slayer. Was that the Slayer? Pro oh, no, it has a chance to repeat. Never mind, I forgot. Thor's A1 has a chance to repeat the move, so that's why you saw four numbers pop up there. 419 to something. Why would you attack the guy, the one, the one head that has reflect damage, you attack Varl. What are you thinking, bro? You are not doing this right. Cardiel, what the fuck, dude? All these decapitated heads, and they want to attack. <laughs> I can't believe they really did that. Oh my god. Okay, so we kind of saw what, what damage they're doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to regroup and I'm going to let it run full auto because I, I manualed some of that. I'm going to let it run here and then I'm going to skip to the end so you, we can see the results here to see who did more damage. But you guys can kind of see, I'm trying to articulate this properly. Varl looks like he's hitting harder, but Thor looks like he's hitting more. Like for example, Varl hitting with his A3 did like 655 while Thor did like 400 i think is the highest one i saw but i've never seen varl honestly i've never seen him in action so it's kind of hard to so varl did 128 almost 129 he's no slouch check that out 147 coming from thor and this is like what an 18 19 20 million difference uh pretty interesting i expected thor to just blast varl out of the water in terms of damage but it looks like varl can somewhat keep up and venus doing 102 million damage it's the hex it's, it's honestly the hex like she does some damage with her um hp burns but again a lot of the damage with hex gets registered to venus do, do any of you guys know the specifics of how hex works and in, in terms of damage being calculated because i'm 
I'm hard pressed to believe that Venus did 102 million herself. Never have a problem with a girl if you trying to make my heart kind of start. Let me see.